The excitement continues to build for the Breeders' Cup at Keeneland. We're now just two days away, and the Triple Crown winner has become a big attraction at the track. As Sean Moody tells us, many of the horse's fans showed up at Keeneland today to see him. Having the Breeders' Cup here in Lexington is already pretty big, but having American Pharaoh in town? Oh, first Triple Crown winner uh, since uh, Firm, yeah, very, very big deal. He is the buzz of the track. It's amazing when you, uh, when you see the horse coming in and even pictures are, are being shown and the gasp and the oohs and ahs that come from people. And he gets off the band and people have got tears running down their face that he's, that he's here. Rockstar is a pretty good word for this horse. Wherever he goes, people are following him. Out at his barn, he drew a crowd. Ah, oh, he just, he's a ham. Horse racing insiders say it's a special time. The horses that were going for the Triple Crown at Belmont Park, they, they, they were semi-rock stars, but he did it. He, he did it, and now here we are in the Breeders' Cup Classic, so we, we haven't seen anything like this since, since maybe Secretariat. In fact, American Pharaoh is such a big name that just his popularity alone could skew the numbers here at the betting windows. I make the odds for the races, too, and ordinarily I would have made American Pharaoh and Beholder much closer because I think in ability they are, but I, I think there's going to be more separation because of the because of the name recognition of American Pharaoh. The, the average fan that comes out, they've heard maybe of Beholder, they've heard of Honor Code, but they know American Pharaoh. They're all here to see him, but does he realize it? If he doesn't, Baffert will tell him. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Moody, the Fox 56, 10 o'clock news. The Breeders' Cup Classic will be American Pharaoh's final race. He's expected to retire Saturday evening.